all right guys welcome back to the channel and this is fishing for life tv my name is rudy fuentes and if you need to the channel make sure you like share and subscribe so we went out to the port aransas jetties and uh, i took out a good friend of mine a work friend uh, joseph he was in one of my last videos he's learning so there's a lot of learning that we had to do um, i'm not a big expert in fishing in the rocks uh it's it's uh it's very challenging <laughs> at times uh, especially with the wind conditions and um, the the rocks uh, i'm not too familiar i know they're like steps they go down uh, i believe three steps and they're really sharp too uh, i love fishing light tackle so everything i have is light tackle so uh no big rods uh, my line is between uh i have two rods that are 15 pound uh, braid and one rod is 20 pound braid all my leaders are 25 to 20 pound mono in this occasion that we went out there we were doing 20 pounds so we did uh get cut off uh, quite a few times man the kids are loud today <laughs> we live right in front of a learning center so it's like a daycare you can hear the kids having some fun today um but um yes we uh, broke off, I think I broke off maybe like four times. Uh, poor Joseph broke off maybe uh, 15, 20 times. So we had to go back and restock on the hooks and uh, weights. So our setups were, uh, like I said, very light tackle. I have a 2500 series uh, loose on here uh, on a medium fast action uh, rod. And show y'all right here this was it uh, we were using a size three to four circle hook and a split shot the split shot uh, it's a 316 ounce uh, split shot and what I've noticed is when you are fishing live shrimp you tend to leave them just like that with the hook uh, free lining them and they do some acrobatic stuff and they run away from fish so that weight just keeps them a little more down uh, to the water column where the fish were and we were fishing for sheep's head so or whatever was there but uh, we ended up catching uh, one redfish uh, it looked like I hooked up to a speckled trout that was in on video and about 20 sheep's head that I caught uh, we did bring home three of them so uh, I plan on eating one ceviche and the other one on fish tacos just pan fry them on top um, the the issue was uh, trying to teach someone the difference between uh, the rocks and a bite so it was really hard for me to explain um, with the rod that he was using he brought two rods and the rods he was using were super flimsy uh, the tips were not what we were looking for uh, he had 20 pound mono on on both of his rods so a little more difficult to feel the bite uh, so once uh, we traded rods he noticed the difference between the mono and the braid uh, it makes a world difference. You can feel right when it falls to the ground and you can touch the, the rock, you can feel the sensation on the, on the braid, you can feel the rock as the weight is moving, you can feel that also. And then, of course, very clearly you can feel the, the bite uh, as a fish hits it. I'm getting to know the area a little better. And also don't forget, we are almost at 2,000. I think we're about 150 subscribers away. Uh, we are giving out the Zephyr uh, bait caster reel out. So if y'all have never used casking before, I love using casking. It's affordable. It's really smooth. This this reel alone is super light. Uh, that's why I use uh, casking because it's it's nice. It's good, durable, and very affordable. Okay. All right, guys. So we're almost there. Once we do hit the 2K, then we will raffle out that. Uh, fishing reel and also one one warning if you are out there make sure you take proper shoes and or purchase those spikes those uh, climbing spikes uh, when you are fishing on those rocks there's this black algae that's created on the rocks and it's super super slippery so be careful when you are landing those fish uh, make sure you don't step on that stuff because it's slippery we had an incident there was a group of students going out there with some teacher and one of them fell uh, busted up their uh, knees and elbow um, you'll see the kids going by the the camera uh, i'm not going to show the the person that fell but uh, she took a pretty bad dive 
Uh, Joseph Omo took one too. Um, I stopped him. You'll see in the video that I stopped him before he actually went <laughs> to that black matter. But uh, be careful when you're fishing the rocks. So um, thank you all again and uh, stay tuned for more content. Like I said, if you're new, make sure you like, share, and subscribe. And let's get on the video, guys. <laughs> they pull. It's not like bass, let me tell you. Yeah, it pulls. That's a big one. Keep at it, keep at it. They're here. Yeah, it's the same one. Oh, it's a redfish. Hell yeah. All right, be careful. There we go. Oh, shit. That's a redfish. And it has a, a hook coming out of his butthole. What? You see the hook? Don't bend it like that. Let, let some line out. You can grab these like bass. They're, they're not that bad. Oh, okay. Yeah. They have little teeth, but... I see okay. little teeth. Oh my god, look at that hook. What the fuck? That's a big old hook coming out of its butthole. You good? Dude, we need to save this guy. You think you can get it out? I think that's a big hook though. Look at that. that is a, it's like, look at my size of my head. Is that like yeah. a, what is that? Like a size? Size poker? I have no idea. It's been there a while. On the floor? Okay. Let's try to save this guy's But How does he poop? Like, what the hell? Oh, it's almost out. Dude, look at that. He's good. That's crazy. Safe. It's been there for a while. It didn't rust though. It did, look. Not look enough. at the edge. Gross. Golly. Poor guy. Throwing back. I mean, we're throwing him back. Yeah, it's not legal. Okay. Oh. Just chunk him out there. That's enough out of you. Come Get on. that guy. Nope. Come it's on. Crazy. Come on. That's so cool. <laughs> Chunk him back up. Safe in their life. That was awesome. <laughs> that was awesome. Yeah. We just caught a redfish. Oh, my caps off. Feels good. That feels really good. It feels good, right? I caught a sheeper right now. It was awesome. It's paying yeah, off. I was gonna catch a fish on this rod. <laughs> but I, it's a drag so keep it like that so you fight it and yeah. it pulls out line you, you don't break off so that's why the drag is there and uh it's windy so it's gloomy it's gonna be like this all day so hopefully we'll catch something um, to take home and eat so stay tuned it's kind of weird, but it's so like it makes like an hour to get out of my boat. Oh, crap! Oh, 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 Another one, guys. Smaller guy. That's a nice one. Setting him off. Back into the depth.
No, it doesn't measure. So you're gonna let them go. Yeah. So yeah. is that illegal because they're don't too many of them? Or oh no no, there there are a lot of them. They just let them grow. They just let them grow. Okay. Oh. So the size limit is 15 inches. Oh, the size. Yes. Got it. Hey. Scrumble. Yeah. All right. Yay. Day. Yeah. Thank you. You're welcome. Hello, Dad. Me off in the rocks. Ah. Retie, he had a. Uh, we broke off of something. Smallest one of the day. Boy? Boy? Well, I did a smaller machine uh, mount, so I, I let them take it, take it. You'll start feeling food. You'll feel that ding ding, ding right? Like they're biting on it, and then you'll feel just like tension. Yeah, when I feel attention, that's when I sit the throw before that, you can't really sit the hook. Well, you have, but you're going to just rip it out of the ground. That's what I did, and I think, why should I? That's the two I lost. I, I thought he took it, but I just don't think he had it. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Hold it, and I hold it like... All right, let's... I feel it. I mean, it's going to be a little bit hard. It's going to be a little bit Yeah. <laughs> 
Joseph's rod, but oh, he's peeing too. <laughs> but yeah, I don't like his rod. We're gonna get him in a better setup for sure. But it works, we got one. <laughs> it's peeing all over. Man. That's so cool. <laughs> How many times? Cool. Thank God. Alright, now I'm out. Oh, you're out. <laughs> I told you one more. Well, we're back home. It is late. So, <laughs> um, it's past 8 o'clock. We made it uh, after uh, 14 hours. I think it was 14 hours. <laughs> Had a good time. Took out my buddy again. Uh, we kept three fish. We're going to fillet them. We'll cook them up. Um, hopefully, I think we're gonna deep fry. We're gonna do some golden crispy uh, nuggets out of these fish. Uh, it was a great day. Uh, I had fun, uh, especially teaching Joseph a lot. Uh, he learned a whole bunch. Sorry, the neighbor kids are out. You can probably hear them. <laughs> They're jumping on the trampoline. Uh, and uh, it's, it's, it just bounces off the shed and you can really hear them talking. <laughs> But uh, yes, we had a great day. We were using live shrimp on uh, circle hooks. Uh, he had a uh, Carolina rig first, and then we switched out to uh, just plain, just free lining it. He had more success like that. But I'm teaching him, so it's hard for him to know the difference between a rock and a bite. So it was fun. He's getting new equipment, so I'm excited for that. We're gonna head out 
out to the jetties out there again or this time I'm gonna try under a bridge on a kayak but um, if you need to channel guys uh, stay tuned for more content make sure you like share and subscribe and we're gonna just do a quick uh, clean on these fish and we're gonna cook them up I'm, I'm not gonna show the cooking but at least y'all can see how I clean the fish but thank you again and until next time